What is up guys, it's RaptorWorks Aquatics here. So today we're going to be uh, rescaping my Nano Planted Tank. Uh, it's had the same scape now for quite a few years, so I just thought it's time for a change. Uh, what I'm going to be using in this tank as the new uh, rock to escape it is Dragon Stone. So um, yeah, we'll just get straight into it I suppose. Alrighty guys, well we're finally done. That took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, it took me about two hours to do. Um, yeah, so if any of you guys are wondering what uh, plants and uh, what type of rock and what type of substrate I've used in this tank, well the substrate in that tank is eco-complete. Um, and the rock, as I said at the start of the video, it's Dragonstone from Japan. Um, and the plants I'm using in that tank, I'm using HC for my carpeting uh, plant. I'm using uh, Dwarf Lobelia for my background plant and the two types of mosses I'm using in there are Cameroon Moss and um, Taiwan Moss. So that's basically it. I've kept it nice and simple. Just a few species of plants and a couple of two species of plants and two species of moss. I will also say that um, Dragon uh, Rock or Dragon Stone is one of my favorite rocks to use for planter tanks or just doing any sort of a aquascape I guess. I just really love the shape of it. It's uh, got a really nice honeycomb structure and a really nice color. And because of the honeycomb structure, the rock pretty much looks nice from most angles. So it's much easier to use in a uh, planted tank for aquascaping. You don't have to be too fussed about which way it's facing because it just, it has a lot, most of the angles look good with this rock. There's no, most dragonstone doesn't have a bad side, what I'm saying. Um, where a lot of other smoother rocks, they have maybe one good side and the other three or four sides or whatever just look rubbish, so you gotta work with that. Uh, Dragonstone just, yeah, it works. You can have it pointing straight up and make little, like, almost canyon-style mountains, I guess, or you can have it lying flat and do many other scapes with it, so it's very versatile. Um, and it's also a very clay-based rock, which is great if you're doing planter tanks or especially shrimp tanks, which what mine is. It's got... Um, uh, candy cane uh, crystal red shrimp in there and I've also got um, red cherry shrimp in there. So Dragonstone is great for shrimps. One because all the lot of hollow uh, bits in it. It's a honeycomb structured rock so lots of hollows for the shrimp to hide in. Uh, but the main one is it's a kind of a very clay based rock. Um, it helps keep your pH at a lower level around the 6.5 mark which is what shrimp like. And it also has a lot of really good minerals in it which the shrimp do actually feed on. 
Um, so Dragonstone is just a really good shrimp rock. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering uh, what light I'm running on my tank as well, uh, I'm running an AI Prime. I'm out of here guys. Before I go, don't forget to leave us a like. See you guys in the next vid. Cheers. Bye. Don't make me tell you